Now, before we actually get down here and look at this fob, I've just got to get something off my chest. And a few other regulars are going to back me up on this. This actual game, we pushed the Yankees back right up to the very end of this map. And there were certain players like, <clears throat> I mentioned your names, Kamitz, who thought it would be cool to go uh, spawn camp, sit outside the enemy base and just pull a shot. And you know what? The regulars kind of turned on him a little bit, and I totally agree. I, t I said to him, th that's not how the squad community rolls. We don't agree with it, and there were a few other players who mentioned it, the Blitz guys, uh, and a couple of others kept saying, stop doing it, give them a chance. We can just stay in these couple of buildings, which is, what, 100 metres, 200 metres away. We'll just stay here, and they can move through and attack, and they've got a chance to flank. Sitting outside their spawn, outside the doors and killing them, it... Ugh. That's the times when you need an admin just to kick those, f I use my words carefully, idiots out of the game. It's not what this community wants, it's not what this game needs. So what actually happened in the end was his own team started to TK him. And um, unfortunately I didn't get a chance to shovel two or three up his ass. But just, come on guys, this is not COD or Battlefield. We're a little bit more grown up than that. Stop spawn camping and let's move on. Right, so in this video, after we pushed the Yankees back, they built this fob. And I thought, Do you know what, I'm going to record this because this is this is impressive. And they were saying in the chat that they've been building this for like 45 minutes. I came into the game late, so what the Taliban were doing during that 45 minutes, I have no idea. How they left them or gave them the time to actually build up this fob to, the, to this standard is quite impressive. So even though I'm on the Taliban side, I'm going to say hats off to you, Yankee Doodles. This is an impressive fob. I've seen some interesting fobs, such as the fob coffin video that you'll see on my other channel, where it was just shooting fish in a barrel. It was a nightmare, extremely bad. Well, the building wasn't bad, but you basically just gave the enemy an opportunity just to wang grenades over and RPGs, and it was just carnage. This is really, really impressive. And I did have some footage of uh, different fobs that people had created for the community. And I was going to do a video, but I've lost my camera access, so I can't finish that video off. But this fob is really cool fob. It seems to be covered from all angles. What tends to happen is, is that they build up here, and then RPGs up, from the, up on the hill just fire down. So they've covered that here by building this side further up. And there are a lot of little murder holes as you walk through, through into the entrance. So impressed. I don't know who the... Um, the Minecraft builder of this, this fob was, but I'd certainly call this a super fob. Um, whether it's worth the time to build all this, God knows, because obviously we pushed them out in the end, but uh, I am impressed, and uh, I hope to cover some more fobs in the future. And uh, yeah, give a thumbs up for the guy who built it, or name him, I don't want the credit for this, it belongs to somebody else. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in another video coming soon, I've been Paraplays, bye bye.